Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our leadership training videos. As you probably know by now, in these leadership training videos, what I do is I take you on a journey to understand not only what leadership is all about, but some of those leadership skills, those traits, those abilities that you need in order to become either a better leader or to improve on your leadership skills, depending on where you are. Now, I know some of you don't consider yourselves leaders, but you are followers, as you've uh, mentioned to me before. In some cases, you are entrepreneurs. You are looking to lead in a different way in the future and want to have more insight. So hopefully these videos, certainly as far as the training content is concerned, help you to understand what that journey is. So once again, welcome. If you are familiar with these videos, then please feel free to share, like, comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel so you know what other videos have been made available and which ones are coming up as well. Now, what we're going to talk about today is an extension of what I dealt with in a previous video called core values. And core values are really, really important in terms of leadership. They're really important in terms of life. But when you look at the leadership skills that you need, core values are essential. And I invite you to check out a previous video to understand more about what those core values are and how they can serve you in your leadership journey. Now, core values are part of the pillars and structure of Leadership Foundation. But before we go into it, just to introduce myself, my name is Chris Igwe. I have over 35 years experience of leading, training and developing teams across primarily five major markets in Europe, but across Europe, Middle East and Africa. And what I do here is just take you through my journey and some of those thoughts, those experiences that have helped me to get to where I am today. So we're going to talk about integrity. And for me, integrity is one of the most fundamental elements of leadership. It's one of the fu fundamental elements, in fact, of what you perceive and how you are perceived in life and how those things determine who you are and how you relate to other people. So let's start out. We're going to talk about, like I say, integrity and trust, because at the end, I do want to touch on trust and explain to you what for me is the connection between integrity and trust. But let's start out very simply by trying to understand what integrity is. And integrity is defined as someone who is honest and has strong moral principles. Now, those are really important words. And you could almost do an entire session on them. Honesty and moral principles but which are strong. They are absolutely foundational upon which you build. So that's integrity. Some other words which I think maybe help to break it down a little bit more is integrity for me anyway is wrapped up in these words. Integrity means being consistent, being consistent in what you do how you do it, what you say, how you say it. Consistency is very important. It also means being uncompromising. We're always swayed, aren't we, by the situation, the circumstances, whether we feel that a change should be made in the way we say something or do something based on the circumstances. But no, it is uncompromising. It means that whatever you do each time in that situation, it is defining for you as to who you are. You practice fairness. Whatever it is that you're involved in, there is a fair approach that you provide and you share. And a bit like with the moral principles, you have ethical guidelines. So there are things that are unethical that you will not do. There are things that go outside of those boundaries that you will not do. So in a sense, for me, and I'd invite you to feel the same way as well, or consider these, it's about that red line or that line that you will not cross those boundaries out of which you will not go because they are inconsistent they compromise what you do they are not fair and they're certainly not monitored by your ethical guidelines why is it important to have integrity well there are many different aspects but again i've broken them down into these 
short areas. Firstly, as a leader, where you have that integrity and you show it and you define it, you gain the respect of the team, of the clients, of the business partners, of those you deal with who can see that you explain and are living the world of integrity. You gain their trust as well, which we'll come back to a little bit later on. Very importantly as well, you set an example. Leaders are the example. You are the ones that your team is looking to emulate, to be like, to grow into. You set standards of conduct, what behaviors are supposed to be. You set the bar. Where is that bar being positioned? If it's low, anybody can get to it. And then you're not seen as a leader, in fact. And quite honestly, it gives you peace of mind because where you know that you are looking at all these different barometers and you're measuring yourself against them, just as the same way the team is measuring you, then it gives you peace of mind. And quite frankly, it reduces stress. It means that the decisions that you are making, the approach that you have to situations are based around very specific guidelines that you have set for yourself. And reducing stress, let's face it, being a leader is a stressful role, but you need to manage your stress. I just want to touch on trust for a brief moment. Now, what is trust? Trust is all about the belief that someone or something, and I'll come back to that in a minute, is reliable, good, honest, effective, and can be counted on and will not harm you. The belief that someone or something is reliable, good, honest, effective, and can be counted on and will not harm you. In terms of something, you may say, well, a thing, that's different. Well, let me give you a very simple example. The thing could be the chair that you are sitting on right now. If you're sitting on a chair, you have trust that that chair and the four legs are not going to break they're not going to fall. You're not going to hit yourself on the floor or indeed hurt yourself in any way. So something that is reliable, it's good, it's effective. That's trust. That is the foundational element of someone who trusts you and who can be trusted. Now, before I go any further, for me, integrity and trust go together, which is why I've put them there. I believe that somebody who has integrity can be trusted. However, I personally don't believe that someone who can be trusted necessarily has integrity. There are many examples of that. You can trust someone, but their integrity, because if you remember, I talked about those lines which you wouldn't cross, being uncompromising, being consistent. If you're not uncompromising in whatever situation or consistent in that situation, then it's very hard to be trusted. So trust is very important because that is what you need for people to come to you. But trust has to be earned. People don't trust you automatically. Imagine, as in my case, you come into a business, a new company, and you're hired to lead a team. People are not going to, they don't know me. They're not going to know my background. They may read about me. They may certainly have read about me but can I be trusted? Do I have the integrity? It's earned over time, time. You need to allow them to grow, to trust you. At the same time, two very important elements. It's about your behavior. How do you behave in each and every situation that people say that person has integrity, that person can be trusted? And what are the values that you set, which people again can define you by. So all those things are important. You have to acquire these. They don't just happen. Obviously, when you've been there for several years, hopefully people see your integrity. They know they can trust you and they know that you are not in any way going to disappoint them. But at the end of it, it's also a question of how people see that you see them. So in your team, they're going to be saying, okay, great, you know, I trust him. He's got these qualities and values, but they want to know how you see them 
as individuals, as part of the team, but most importantly, it's about how you treat them. What is your behavior towards them? They can see that you trust them. You, they can see that they trust you. But how are you treating them? Because if there is a divergence between how you see them and how you treat them, be, between your behavior and your attitude, those are going to be two very different things and then you're sending mixed messages. So at the end of the day, one of the reasons why for me integrity is so important is that it encapsulates all these elements. On the one hand, the integrity piece is something that you have, it's in you. You communicate that. It has to be your guiding light or your north star, whatever you want to call it. But in leadership, integrity is so foundationally important. It gives a very strong message to people. It attracts people to you. And they have to know that through that integrity, you can be trusted. Because by trusting you, they are then knowing that the opportunity to grow with you is there. And you can be entrusted with things, maybe even more personal stuff as well. So I invite you to, if this uh, video has resonated with you in some way and you have thought to yourself, I'm not sure I have the integrity. Or maybe you do have the integrity. Maybe I don't know I've got trust. I don't know I'm being trusted. Then I invite you to think even further, dwell on these thoughts and ideas, grow them in the way in which you put them in front consciously. It's about conscious choices and decisions, knowing that when integrity is there, then that allows you to grow better, stronger, more effectively, and you gain the trust of your team, your clients, your business partners, and you grow the business and you grow yourself as a leader. So once again, thank you for being with us. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to comment, like, and share, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you know when other videos are available. Thank you.